Now our second situation where the general journal will be needed is converting to a double entry system. It's going to be a bit confusing. What you're going to remember is in year 11, if you did accounting, you learned what was called a single entry system. And what that meant was no ledgers. So we didn't have any T accounts in the general ledger. And what we want to do now is move from that system on the 17th of March for what's called a single entry system to what's called a double entry system. Now in the single entry system, we've got the following items, cash of four grand, debtor Crosby, a thousand, debtor stills, 2000, stock of 18, shop fittings of 24, and then we've got some liabilities. We've got GST, a thousand, two creditors, and a loan. So there's our items. We've got five assets and four liabilities. What we need to do is get them from the single entry system into a new double entry system. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to have to use the general journal. So this will be the only time when we're going to put cash in um, as a, a, in the general journal rather than the actual cash receipts journal. And the reason is the business isn't actually receiving cash. It's just cash it's already got. So what we're going to do is just put that in the general journal as a debit. For the two debtors, uh, we've got two debtors there, Crosby of 1,000, stills of 2,000. What we'll do is in the general ledger, we'll create a debtor's control account of three grand. What we'd better do though is create subsidiary accounts in the subsidiary ledger for both of those debtors like so. So we can see the two debtors there of 1,000 and 2,000 equal the control account total of three. And they're entered. We've got stock, which is an asset of 18 in the general ledger and shop fittings, which is an asset of 24,000, which is a debit in the general ledger. Then have GST, that's a liability, so that will be a credit in the general ledger. We've got two creditors, one for 900, one for 4,000. So first of all, we'll create a control account in the general ledger for 4,900, and then two subsidiary ledgers for each individual creditor. Finish with a loan of 10 grand. So we've given the business uh, some assets, we've given it some liabilities. The difference between those two figures will be capital of 33,100. Again, how is that figure calculated? Well, we know owner's equity equals assets less liabilities. So in this case, total assets were 49, total liabilities were 15,900, that equals 33,100. Do an oration, so in this case converting to a double entry accounting system and most importantly put the memo number in.